What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing so well. Welcome to today's video which is on Frank Lampard's top performers at Chelsea. Well, top three performers and it is interesting. I'm going to be giving you guys statistics and the sort of top metrics for each player all sourced by a statistic website who scored. But before we do get into today's video, I'd like to request you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single day and I want you guys to keep up with the content. Also, if you want to help me out, please like this video. All right then, before we do bring up the statistics page and get into all the metrics, I want to let you guys know who the players are. It is Emerson Palmieri, Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount. Interesting, right? All three of these players have won man of the match so far, but they all have interesting statistics that I want to get into. All right, then let's just get into it. Let's bring up this statistics page. So in third place, it's Chelsea's number nine, Tammy Abraham, the young striker that's come through from Aston Villa, Bristol City, all these other loans, and now is playing in the number one spot for Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club. All right, so goals scored. In just three starts this season, Tammy Abraham has managed to score four goals. Pretty decent. That works out to a goal every 63 minutes, which obviously is an immensely good and impressive return. Granted, these goals came against two promoted side with two braces, but you know what? They were instinctive finishes. Two of them against Norwich were really, really impressive finishes on the half volley, outside the box, excellent top tier striker goals, but all four of them were incredibly instinctive finishes. Now that's important because Chelsea have lacked that and it looks like in Tammy Abraham, they have a proper skillful poacher. Tammy presses well, he runs the channels, he's getting better at hold up play, but he also takes 2.8 shots per game so that's kind of the perfect amount for a striker that wants to score a couple of goals but doesn't you know waste chances also does all the other stuff he needs to do to help the team tick I guess he's not all about just the sort of striker graft in terms of occupying center backs running the channels or pressing he's quite creative as well he makes 1.5 key passes per game which is pretty impressive from young Tammers shows that he's got a bit of everything after the opening four games of the season Tammy Abraham's looking like an impressive young striker and Chelsea's third best performer who scored has given them a rating of 7.3 decent right let's switch to the next player which is Mason Mount who comes in at second place Mason Mount has scored two goals in the Premier League so far he started all four games but that's a goal every other game which is a really good return for a central midfielder but interestingly Mason Mount takes a colossal 3.5 shots per game now this would be surprising if it was just a random midfielder but this is Frank Lampard's protege Frank Lampard wants goals from his midfield so he's obviously saying to him shoot whenever you fancy it so 3.5 per games is a lot but it's interesting because if you think about how the opposition defense might be trying to occupy the strikers or they're getting pulled out of position by the forwards generally Frank wants his midfielders to be a goal threat something a bit different perhaps something that the opposition doesn't prioritize and you can see that by Mason Mount taking 3.5 shots per game. Let's talk about Mason's passing as well. Mount averages an 83.2% passing accuracy which is pretty decent considering he's a kind of risk taking attacking central midfielder like a number 10. Sure he wants to be quite tidy on the ball but like I said he is a risk taker so that's a really really good passing accuracy and in terms of creativity Mason Mount's executing two key passes per game so he's doing all sorts of attacking forward play but he absolutely has got the eye he gets his head up he sees the pass he makes the creative pass two key passes per game very decent Mason Mount averages 2.8 crosses and long balls per game which is good if you think about he is trying to take loads of shots on goal he is trying to make loads of short creative key passes but also he has absolutely no issue in switching play when there's nothing on close to him so kind of like a well-rounded you know central attacking midfielder in that sense for a cam well does anyone even say cam anymore attacking midfielder number 10 for a number 10 he puts in the defensive graft as well 3.1 tackles and interceptions per game which is really good considering he's always forward he's either pressing in a 4-4-2 or he's playing in the number 10 he's taking shots key passes he's getting back and he's making the tackles and interceptions as well so all things considered if you look at the creativity with passing the amount of shots he's taking he does a lot of pressing as well he's always pressing from the front with the defensive number 
numbers as well. He's looking like the complete midfielder and you can understand why he's so important to Frank Lampard and he probably will be a huge player for Chelsea moving forwards. And that is why he's Chelsea's second best performer this season coming in with a who scored rating of 7.55. Well done Mason. Good effort, mate. So that leaves us with, yes, you've guessed it, I think maybe quite an unsung hero of Chelsea, Emerson Palmieri. Now, last season I loved Emerson. I thought he was very good. Obviously, he played his way into the team and overtook Marcus Alonso. But you know what? This season, he is doing bits. He's always running forwards, right? And he's always down that left wing you know, doing combinations in attacking phases of play. So people might think he's quite an attacking fullback, but the truth is his defensive numbers are frankly outrageously good. Emerson outputs a titanic 6.3 tackles and interceptions per game. Now again, for a fullback who is always going forward and doing take-ons, dribbles, combinations and shots and stuff, 6.3 tackles and interceptions per game. That is a defensively sound I don't know, super centre-back numbers. And on top of that, he's making 1.3 clearances per game. So an all-round defensive performance, Emerson's by far the best in Chelsea's back line. 6.3 tackles and interceptions from what appears to be an attacking fullback. That's like Alexander-Arnold and Wan-Bissaka mixed together. <laughs> But the positives do not stop there with Emerson. Like Tammy Abraham, Emerson averages 1.5 key passes per game, so he's contributing creatively in the final third of the pitch, getting in there, getting his head up and looking where to make the intricate, creative key passes. He boasts a very impressive 85% passing accuracy, and he's popping off 3.8 crosses and long balls per game. So yep, short creative passes, long crosses, short crosses, long diagonal balls, getting back, defending, whatever he doesn't care easy couple more stats for you we all seen how emerson loves to score a goal from long range certainly in pre-season he's got an accurate shot on him he takes a sort of perfect amount of 1.5 shots per game he wants to contribute with goals but his game's so well balanced he's not just randomly popping off shots and we know the brazilian slash italian is a technical talented footballer with his feet he completes two dribbles per game he's a fullback that's like attacking winger numbers. So that's again, very, very good from Emerson. Emerson is absolutely demonstrating all the skills and attributes that a modern day, direct, dynamic Premier League fullback needs. Like defensive numbers are insanely good. He gets up and down, he's got a superb engine on him. He can do take-ons, he can do key passes, he can do crosses, he pops off shots accurately. So you can understand now after hearing all that why Emerson is Chelsea's number one best performer so far this season with a 7.57 who scored rating. Right, so he's Chelsea's best performer statistically so far, but you know what? In the Premier League ranking of all the players, he's currently 11th. Now that is actually really, really good. All the 10 players above Emerson are basically all forwards or attacking wide forwards he's the heart by far the highest defender and the highest fullback so he's the best performing left back in the Premier League this season stick that in your pipe and smoke it at Manchester City Liverpool and everyone else who's good all right that's enough of the analysis screen for the moment now Chelsea have got a lot of problems obviously so far I've talked about it in previous videos a lot of it seems to be systemic and not personnel unless maybe you're looking at Azpilicueta but players are playing with freedom and expression and that's helped some players more than others, but certainly Emerson looks like a man possessed. Players like Tammy and Mount will do very, very good under Frank Lampard, and so will other young players and some other players, but it's just so good to see Emerson sort of quietly go under the radar and just be brilliant, essentially. Certainly for me, Emerson's massively an unsung hero, and Chelsea don't need to go buy a starting left back in the summer like Ben Chilwell or whatever. Just bring someone through to deputise behind him who's like a similar player stylistically not Marcus Alonso. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on these matters, on these players. Um, just Chelsea generally, the Premier League. Are you surprised to see Emerson's Chelsea's top performing player statistically and the best probably, well, he is the best defender in the Premier League statistically through those metrics on who scored? Just get down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please like this video, guys. It helps me out a lot. And why not subscribe to the channel and keep up with all the other content I'm doing. Other than that, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That is at Football Yannick on both Instagram 
and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. I'm off. You enjoy the football in the international break, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby